choose an area of your life where you have a goal that you would like to explore, knowing that you will at least experience some new insight into it and potentially at best transform your entire experience of it and get you ready and aligned and fully motivated towards it. Now we're going to be using a model that guides you through different levels of experience and thinking. And some people have a different preference to this. You can either listen and just get a sense of working through the levels in your mind's eye. Other people, especially for things like goals, where it may be useful to write things down as you go, prefer to write out the names of each category on pieces of paper and lay them out on the floor like a series of stepping stones. I would suggest doing this because there's something about with each step you take that you're going to package a lot of information into those different stepping stones and that should become more apparent as we do it but if you're someone that would rather just close your eyes and work it through in your mind's eye in your own time then that's absolutely fine too so when you're ready and you have a goal in mind buckle up and enjoy the ride so the first step that you're going to be moving into is a level that we call environment. So take a step forward now and find the first space that is marked environment. And from here, I invite you to consider what is the environment in which you want your goal or desired state? When and where do you want to enact the goal or behavior? What will be the external context surrounding the desired goal and activities? So as you're considering that, just step into it as though it's happening now already and you're in the context and in the particular environment that's applicable to this goal. And just notice, what do you see and hear? And as you're noticing that, Just become aware also of who else is there with you. And just notice what impact does the environment and other people and the context and the concept of time have upon the situation in which you want to achieve this goal. Secondly, I invite you to, in your mind's eye or physically, step forward into the space marked behavior. So this is the level that we're looking at your actions and what it is that you're doing. So just consider now, and maybe write down if it's useful, what specific actions or behavior are associated with achieving the goal or outcome? So what is it that you do in that context? What activities will you be engaging in? And if someone else was to see you in the process of doing those actions, if they were watching a video of you, how would they describe what you're doing? And what would they hear you say? So this is your opportunity to think about your movements, your actions, your behavior, and the content of any thoughts that go in line with this goal or this change that you're going to be achieving. With all of that in mind, just consider, is there anything that you need to change to make a difference already that you're aware of? And what resources do you need to use or to gain access to? Now, step into the third space, mark skills and capabilities. So this is where we're looking at the how of what it is that you're going to be doing, your strategy and how it is that you're thinking about things and the sequence in which you're going to be doing it. So just consider now, how will you accomplish that goal and those behaviours? How are you doing what you are doing? Consider what capabilities and cognitive processes are needed in order to trigger or guide those desired actions towards your goal. Become aware now, what skills will you put into practice? And along a similar vein, what skills and capabilities can you tap in from other areas of your life to assist with this goal? 
What areas of expertise will you draw on? And where from or from whom? What skills, strategies, knowledge, thought patterns will you be using to have the optimum mindset? What is the quality of your thinking that goes with this? And what qualities do you have that will serve you well here? And this also is the point to think about what is your strategy here to achieve this goal? And if at any point you need to pause this, just do that now. So next, just move forward into a space marked belief and values. So this is thinking about what beliefs and values are expressed by or will be validated by reaching this goal or making this change. So consider now in terms of your values, what's important about achieving this goal or outcome or change? Why does it matter? What's most important about it? And what would be the most important thing for someone you love to know about it? So as you think about all of that, just check in. What values are expressed by your goal and capabilities? And why will you use those particular thought processes or capabilities that we've just been working through in order to accomplish this goal? So with all of that in mind, just briefly complete the following sentences for yourself. The most important thing about achieving this is... And I want to do this because I value... Great. So we're just going to look a little bit about beliefs now. So just draw your attention to your beliefs around this goal. Now sometimes beliefs can be quite hidden so give yourself time and just notice what comes up. So as you're thinking about your goal or the change that you want to make, what beliefs provide the motivation for your thoughts and activity? What is it that you need to believe in? What beliefs do you have that are going to motivate you? And what's true about this outcome and change? I know that's a little bit of a strange question, but just consider it. Something will come to mind. What's true about this outcome and change? And with all of that in mind, just complete these following sentences. I believe about and in line with my goal. And the reality of reaching my goal and making this change is... Great. Now we're going to be stepping forward into a space marked identity. And this is the area where all of those skills and behaviours and beliefs and values come together and they form a sense of you. So we're inviting you here to think about what sense of you is it that fits with this goal that you're trying to achieve. So these may be unusual questions for you because we don't normally ask them, but just consider them now because when you have the answer to this, everything else falls in line with it. So what is your identity or role with the respect to the goal and the beliefs and values associated with it? When you're thinking about this and achieving your goal, who are you? What is that identity? So when you engage in those particular beliefs and values and capabilities and behaviours to achieve this, who are you? What kind of person does this make you? And what would others say about the kind of person you are when you're making this change? And lastly, what does it mean to you to be this person? 
And as you bring all of that with you, the behaviors and the actions and the activities that you've identified, the skill sets and the qualities and the capabilities that you're going to be tapping into, the beliefs that are going to go along with this and why it's important and why you're motivated to achieve this. Finally, take a step forward into the space of something called beyond yourself. Now this space is also known as your spirituality or your purpose, maybe your legacy or your mission. So if helpful, if you haven't already, close your eyes and take as long as you'd like to connect with the best and the highest thing that you can imagine. A sense of being a smaller part of a greater whole. That which is beyond anything that you have been exploring, be it your faith, your higher self, your connection with others, or how it all connects with the big picture of your life or the universe. And while you're there, choose the language that works best for you and ask yourself, what's the purpose of it? Who are you doing it for? And as you consider that change and that goal or that outcome, what impact does it have beyond yourself? Who or what else is involved in achieving this goal? And how does this fit with the big picture of your life? How does this fit with the big picture of life on earth? I get a sense of that, the magnitude of it all. Where this takes you beyond yourself, out of there into the universe. And gathering all of this and bringing it with you when you're ready in your mind's eye or physically turn back and face back down the way that you came. Carrying that sense of the beyond with you, step into the space marked identity. And once again, ask and answer the question, by achieving this goal now, who am I? And who are you developing into becoming with everything that you know now? And next, bring that sense of connectedness to all that is beyond yourself and your new or heightened sense of identity with you and move into the space of beliefs and values. And think about what's true now about achieving this goal. What's important about it with this renewed sense of connection? Why does it matter now? And when you're ready, carrying your connection to beyond yourself, your identity and an awareness of your beliefs and values with you, step back into the space of your capabilities and your skills. And from here, draw your attention now to what new or additional capabilities and skills are you aware of that you will draw on or could draw upon to reach this outcome or make this change. And still immersed in your connection with all that's beyond yourself and your identity and your beliefs and your values and those capabilities, step forward again and notice what could you do or could you do in line with this outcome? What's changed? What stayed the same? What new things occur to you? What new actions or what actions are you going to take in line with achieving this outcome? And finally, taking everything that you've learned and experienced along the way back into the space of the environment. And just notice with all of that, where are you now? And where else? And what do you see? What do you hear? Who else is with you there now? And maybe, who is no longer there? Now, take all the time that you need to allow the learnings and the changes that you've made to just assimilate and integrate fully before you carry on with your day. And before you do, you may want to revisit that again and take notes of what you've learned and experienced. Or step forward again and just simulate and find a way to accumulate all of that information. And I know that from this, you will have found some new enlightenments, some more insight, and a way to drive yourself forward towards your goal. So I wish you the best of success with it. And until the next time, enjoy.